Hi everybody, this is Anne. This week I asked the members of the Pottery Studio Facebook group what tools they couldn't do without in their studios. In this video I'm going to highlight five of the more unique tools that were recommended. The first tool is a household item, the X-Acto knife. The pointed and very sharp blade is perfect to slice through leather hard clay when you need to cut into tight areas. Elizabeth Burt Ivy said she uses the blades to cut out very thin slabs of porcelain. It's also the tool of use for shaving down the edge of a teapot spout. If the edge of a teapot spout has even a small ledge, it's enough for a drop of water to sit on and then drip out. To avoid this, many potters will use the X-Acto blade to shave the ledge down to keep liquids from trying to perch on them. Another member said she uses the compact X-Acto blade to incise a gallery inside of a pot with a lid to get a nice fit. Here we tried her suggestion and were really pleased with the results. Ellen Taylor Barth said she loves her rubber tipped modeling tools. The smooth flexible tip is perfect for attaching clay to fragile jointed areas and cleaning up the areas around the joints that your fingers have touched during the attachment process. These tools come in different shapes for the different tasks. This particular shape is perfect to clean out and smooth holes of ornaments or colanders. This particular shape can be used to soften the edges of a thin cut slab so it won't cut someone's fingers once it's fired. Marcy Adler Wells said she loves to use her guitar pick. Guitar picks come in different shapes and thicknesses of plastics. The thinner pick is more flexible, and the thicker pick is more rigid. These are great to help smooth clay in very tight spaces, such as the slender neck of this vase. It's also perfect to get into the inside bottom of this lid. A regular rubber rib would never fit in there. This thumb pick is perfect to trim the bottom of a foot. You can see more about this in the video called 10 Things to Make Your Mug Sexier. The next can't do without tool that several people mentioned is the banding wheel. This is also one of my favorites. I use it when I'm doing underglaze painting. I'm constantly turning the wheel as I paint and this keeps my hands off the pottery. It also keeps me from damaging the clay on the bottom of the piece. I also use the banding wheel to assist me in creating straight lines around a piece. I made a jig for this task by using just a long stick and a pencil and then I hold it steady while turning the wheel head. In hand building, the banding wheel is great to use when attaching a foot to the body of a mug. It helps you to keep the bottom nice and round just by rotating the wheel. Number five was very popular, the hotel key card. I have found that these cards come in different thicknesses of plastic just like the guitar picks. You can use the more flexible cards for utilitarian purposes such as ribbing. You can even cut a profile into the edge of the card and use it to trim a fancy foot on a vase. In our how to make a handle with a credit card video, we use the card like a mini extruder to pull a handle. Thanks to everybody in the Facebook Pottery Studio community for all their inspiring suggestions. We'd like to hear about your favorite must-have tools. Please share with us in the comments below. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time in the studio.